Hi, welcome to CACL. We're New Zealand's headset experts. Today, my name is Lisa and today I'm going to take you through the setup of a Jabra GN9330 wireless headset. So what you'll get in your box when you get your headset is the setup guides, warranty information, a battery, an ear hook, the microphone arm with the microphone on it, the headband, power pack, telephone cable, which is RJ to RJ, and your base unit. Okay, so we have, today here I've just got a basic telephone that doesn't have a telephone headset port on it, and that's what we're going to be, so we'll be setting it up through the headset. Okay, so the first step is to set up your headset. So I'm not going to do it with the headband, I'll do it with the ear hook today. Take your battery and the microphone boom arm. Match, match the shape because you're going to pop them together. Now they have some little um, plastic prongs there and some slots so simply line them up. Uh, now I say simply. Okay, line them up and then slide upwards. Okay, not dissimilar to light bulbs how you line it up and then just lock it in place. Okay, then it's very simple for the headband or the ear hook you just push it on. Push on, pull off. Very similar. And you can turn it round until you've got the right alignment for your headset. That's the headset done there. Now what I'd like you to do is unplug the curly cords for the handset telephone cord from the telephone. That's either on the side or normally underneath. Gently lift the cover of the base unit and and then squeeze the two corners. So it's like opening a child lock on a bottle. Can be a little bit fiddly. Place the cover to the side. We won't need that for a while. Now on here, there's all the ports and there's pictures. So you've got auxiliary, um, picture of the telephone, picture of the handset. So the handset cord goes into the RJ port with this picture of the handset. <clears throat> Take the black RJ to RJ telephone cord, plug it into the port beside it with a picture of the telephone, and simply plug that one into the, hands, the handset port where the curly cord was that so you pulled it out of your telephone. Now take your power pack, I haven't got the power plugged in, so and then the power just goes in the power one right beside the one with the handset picture. Okay, then what we do is take your um, headset that you've set up, either headband or ear hook, and just line it up, guide it down, and set it into the charging cradle. So this is the battery terminal charging area. And if you if people bang it down hard and those prongs bend, it's not covered by warranty. So these units are robust, but they're not infallible. You have to treat them with respect. Okay? So gently slide it down. Now mine has been fully charged, so you will see green lights light up on my unit now that I have turned it on there we are okay so when when you first turn it on these green lights should sort of come on and be flashing and that means that they need to charge when you have a brand new unit it needs to charge for three hours and then the blue LED is on for the telephone connection <coughs> for all um, for all purposes, we're virtually set up and ready to go. There are, if I wanted to make a call, since mine is fully charged, I simply pick up my headset, put it on, and to make a call, I would pick up the receiver, and that should give me the dial tone. If you don't get a clear dial tone, lift, take the headset away from your ear, and I'll put this down for now, but you would need to hold it beside you. And you have channels on here marked A to G with a lever. Now these are telephone polarity channels, so you either A is a factory setting, A and G cover about 90% of telephone systems in New Zealand. Cisco phones tend to use B. Um, so just change that to get a clear dial tone. So that's known as a clear dial tone lever. So change that until you get a clear dial tone. It can squeal in your ear. So that's why we suggest to hold it a little bit away. When you have a clear dial tone, that's a point that we would say ring a friend or a colleague internally so that you can adjust the volumes to get it right. 
Now, the grey dial on the base unit, that is your microphone volume, and it's got the plus and minus arrows in the direction which show you which is minimum, maximum volume. If you have an echo or you hear your own voice, turn the microphone volume down a bit. Now, the volume, the receiver volume, so that is the volume that you can hear of the other person speaking, is controlled by the little lever on top of the headset. So you push it that way or that way, gently, to adjust that up or down. That can be done midway during conversation. It doesn't affect anything except the volume. Be careful though, if you press it down, that will put it in mute, and so the blue button will go on when you press it. So that is a toggle switch, and when you see the mute on, you'll see the red lips lit up on the LED, which is on the front there. <coughs> I'll turn it off. Now, that about covers it for the setup of the 9330. Once you have everything working, I would replace the cover. The good thing about the cover is that it's, it's user friendly, it's easy to set up, however, um, people can't touch it when you've covered it up, so that's great from a technician's point of view. It's more user friendly and protected. If you need any other information, you can contact us on free call in New Zealand, which is 0508 553 that's 0508 Otherwise, you can find our other videos and downloads troubleshooting documents PDFs on CACL. That's www.cacle.co.nz. So www.cacle.co.nz. You can find us on Google or YouTube where we have lots of other setup videos for the products and, um, and any information you need. So I hope that you have a success with your 9330 and we'll catch you later. Thank you. Bye-bye.